Right, it's been a while. Hello and welcome back to another video on the Devil's Eye production channel. Wasn't sure if there'd uh, ever be a time for me making this, but here we are, um, I'm back. Ready to talk all about football again, uh, purely because I've missed it and it's been a while. And I thought I'd just, just get back into it and, uh, and see how it goes. And the topic of discussion for today is Sheffield Wednesday. What is exactly happening at S6? Because it's been quite a while uh, and a lot's happened uh, since we last discussed Sheffield Wednesday. So the last video on this channel was talking about the new manager, Gisco Munoz, and how there may be uh, a time of change at Hillsborough. And there was a positive air around the club a little bit um, when he was appointed because he won, he won promotion out of the championship before. And that excited us and it excited the owner. But obviously, you know, as we all know, that didn't work out. And in the end, we appointed a certain Danny Roll. Danny Roll was appointed as the Sheffield Wednesday manager on the 13th of October 2023, with his first game in charge being a 1-0 loss at Watford. In fact, it wasn't even until the Germans' third game in charge that the Owls would get a win in the season, a 2-0 win over uh, local rivals Rotherham United. Saved by the keeper, back to Masaba, crossed in with... Yeah! They can, it's now in Masaba, tries to cut past the defender, another opportunity will present itself, it's with Smith! Yeah! Unfortunately, though, as we all know, this didn't really lead to much as the following three games in the league were defeats, so it was just another false dawn at Hillsborough. That was, however, until a late equaliser from loney Jeff Hendrick in a one-all draw at Hillsborough against league leaders Leicester City that saw a mini spark in return to form for Wednesday. One, can we win this? Will it run for Hendrick? Yeah! This led to two consecutive wins in the league against Blackburn Rovers and Stoke City. After adding a little bit of quality in the January window with a certain EK Ogbo signing on loan, Wednesday needed just a victory on the final day at the Stadium of Light against Sunderland to get the win that would secure the comeback of all comebacks, beating the, the playoff semi-final the year before. And it was the ultimate survival because we did beat Sunderland, of, of course, 2-0. Uh, which then led to a lot of speculation in the media as to whether Danny Roll would sign a new contract that had been touted about for a while. And it eventually, in early June, it was announced that the Owls boss had signed a new contract. And then a real summer of positivity developed as 11 new players were brought in, nine of which were permanent, one of them including E. Kelgbo for a club fee of reported two and a half million pounds, as well as another season for the young loney James Beadle, who had been playing really, really well uh, in his first championship club. And the Owls started the season in style with a 4-0 thumping against Wayne Rooney's Plymouth Argyle. And Wednesday fans hoped that would be a little bit of a marker of for what to expect for the season ahead. However, that positivity was cut short as three pretty poor league defeats followed and then the Owls were sent crashing back down to reality um, with three really poor performances. Although a bit of a cup run, uh, which sees the Owls face Brentford away uh, in the round of 16 next in the next couple of weeks. But in the league, it was looking really bleak. That was, however, until a bit of an upturn in form, a one or draw against QPR, including a last-minute conceded goal, which still gives me nightmares two weeks later. And then a really disappointing loss against Lewiston Town after a controversial, shall we say, red card. And that positivity was capped off with a brilliant 3-2 win against West Brom, who were current, who were unbeaten at the time um, with a late Anthony Masaba goal after we went 2-0 up and then it went to 2 all, And Anthony Masaba with a late goal to see what was a much needed three points to lift the mood around Hillsborough. Which leads us to the present day where... There's a little bit of an uncertainty around Sheffield Wednesday, although I do think that the recent performances will give us a much needed boost. It can't be underestimated how important the addition of Shea Charles has been, obviously the brother of, of Academy graduate Pierce Charles. And I think that that could really set the tone for the rest of the season for us. He's allowing sort of Bannon to have that license to get forward a little bit more. And as well, if we want to bring someone like Ingleson or Windass into that midfield, they can go forward because Shea Charles can pretty much cover as a six. The Plymouth game certainly gave us real optimism that we could push for a playoff spot. I still don't think we've got quite got the quality to do that. Most of the signings we've brought in are still loans and free transfers. Um, so I think we're still a few additions, a good centre-half away to compete with uh, Bernard, a good centre-half away and perhaps another forward away from making a playoff push. But I certainly think sort of a 10th to 14th spot this season, around 61, 62 points would be good progress. Of course, you never know in football and the role factor really can't be underplayed. He is a great manager and I truly believe that he will go to the top of the game. So perhaps there could be a playoff push, but certainly I think 
a, t a season of mid-table mediocrity wouldn't go amiss for, uh, for Wednesday fans. <laughs> So yeah, that was sort of a brief summary of, of what's been happening since the last video uh, and what happened last season and where we're up to now and sort of my thoughts on, on where Sheffield Wednesday are at the minute. If you did enjoy them, please do like and subscribe for the return of Devil's Eye Productions. I'm looking forward to seeing more videos in the channel from myself because I have quite missed it, to be fair. Might do a bit of gaming, do a bit of football as well, but I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.